Service. Well, you can officially ask Peter Turnquist off the Free National Movement's list of 2022 candidates. The East Grand Bahama MP, who has held on to constituency for nearly 10 years now, has opted out of running in the next general election, leaving the party to find another. His decision, the end result of consultation with family members, constituents, the party, and a cross-section of people. The ultimate goal, he says, to remove the distraction from issues that ought to concern Bahamians. Well, I, I think ever since um, the situation um, came up, uh, we've been considering what should be our options. Um, and, uh, you know, we, as we look towards um, the upcoming season, we look at what we've accomplished, we look at what we uh, wanted to do in the, in the next term, um, we made the decision that uh, the, it's, it's in the best interest of everybody at this time uh, that we um, step, step back. Uh, it doesn't mean that we are done. It does not mean that we are, are stepping away. Uh, but it does mean that uh, we're giving uh, some time for us to take care of the, the um, pr private issues that we uh, need to deal with. Uh, and uh, we will uh, solve those issues and be back. That situation, Turnquist refers to a fraud allegations linked to a company where he served as director. The firestorm that erupted ultimately led to the FNM MP's resignation as a senior cabinet minister. But many questioned whether he truly decided not to run or was forced to throw in the towel this time around. Well, Turnquist says it's important to understand that the party has a structure whereby every member of its central council has a vote. As he explained, the party leader would have a conversation with the association to determine who should be a candidate. And as far as he sees it, that process is working as it should, and he's comfortable with the decisions made. The leader of the party, obviously, as it's his team, does have a lot of influence on, uh, on that selection process, but ultimately, it's the association. They, that, they present their recommendations to the executive council of the party, and the executive council uh, considers it, sends it to a vetting committee, a nomination committee. And they will go through their process and determine whether they support a recommendation from the association or otherwise. Once they support a recommendation, it then goes to the executive committee. The executive committee considers it, accepts it, or rejects it. Uh, and then if they accept it, they send it on to the central council uh, where the final decisions are made. Every man, every woman has a one vote. What I have decided to do is to remove myself from further consideration by the candidates committee. ZNS Shopping Network is the place for deals. Tune in this coming Valentine's Day weekend, February 12th through the 14th, for our first official Midnight Madness sale. Shop with favorite local stores and get network deals unavailable to the general public on clothing, handbags, furniture, kitchenwares, hardware, appliances, jewelry, and much, much more. So if you're a shop owner and you want to become a participating network merchant, contact us using the promotional code ZNS13 to get a 10% sign up discount. Just send us an email. Email us at ZNSShoppingNetwork.com or call 502-3800 in Nassau or 359-5142 in Freeport to list your products and become a network merchant today.